This week, we begin our study by looking at the importance of prudence in life, trying to genuinely be a wise person. I believe it was Landon Saunders who shared this reflection and said, imagine yourself at the absolute lowest worst point in your life. You're uncovered, you're humiliated, you're defeated, you're laying there on the ground, kind of shrouded in darkness in this awful moment, and then you can sense that someone is nearby. Someone is approaching, and they tap you on the arm, and as you're going to look up and see that person's face, who is the person you'd really want to see? Who is the person that you could look at and say, oh, thank goodness, oh, thank God it's you. I needed you. You're the one I can depend on. This is what it means to be a prudent person. That's the kind of person we want to be in other people's lives. That in their darkest times, and their most difficult times, we could be a resource to them. Uh, we could be like, I believe it's in Psalms 1, where David talks about the oaks of righteousness, trees with deep roots, strong trunks, so that when everyone else is getting blown about by life circumstances, we can be solid, we can be planted, and we can be a resource and an encouragement to others, that they can get stronger because of our strength. This is, there are a lot of kinds of people we find in the world that we have in abundance. There are lots of talented people. There are beautiful people. Uh, there are gifted people. But what the world needs more of is deep people, prudent people, people who can model the character that isn't simply some kind of external projection of what we wish people would think about us, but that we could be people who could even remove the masks, be true to who we are, and still be something that people would want to have around exactly the way that we are. So this week we invite you to be thinking about prudence and who the prudent people have been in your life that you admire, that you would want to be like.